Thank you for your interest in CrossMeta solutions. In this video, we will be seeing how to install CrossMeta systems on Windows. Let's get started. Visit our website crossmeta.io. Here you can read about our other solutions too. Let's try to access the download section. Look for the setup program and to try to run as administrator. This completes the installation of CrossMeta system. Let's try to make use of it. So we install the program files in this directory, program files cross meta. So you can check the status of the cross meta system as follows. So the drivers that come with cross meta system, they are all fully dynamically loadable. So we need to start them only when it's really needed. Here you can see that the base or the core VFS driver is running while other miscellaneous services were stopped. So if you want to make use of the fuse subsystem or the kernel driver, all we need to do is just issue the start command. The files provided by CrossMeta system is accessible through the V drive, which stands for the VFS drive. Here you can see all your Unix tools. See, so you have VI, Arc, grab so things like that so in windows 2016 and other supported flat platforms the cross meta shell launches a busy box program So let's try to run a VI command.
So these are some tiny versions of your familiar Unix tools. You can also run any Windows command as follows. To stop the cross matter system, we can issue this stop command. So this completes the introduction to cross matter system. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.